While the brave men and women of Scotland toiled to free the car with their handy land anchor, I came over all peckish. Ray Mears is forever telling us that uh, you can start a fire by rubbing together some pieces of heather. Um, I find it's much easier to use a couple of pints of diesel and simply uh, splash it on my kindling. There we are. In no time at all, I have a lovely pan full of steaming winter warming broth. Mmm, delicious. So much better than eating the bark from a bonga bonga tree. Ow! The land anchor, meanwhile, was doing its work. It's pulling the whole of Scotland. I've done it. And now I shall go back into Edmund Hillary mode. Here we go again. Of course, it would help if I weren't the world's most useless off-road driver. Power, 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 power. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Not again. Where are the strong men? Oh dear, is some trim come off? What I've managed to do is get it from, well, just there, just where that green bit is, to, uh, to here. While it was being freed this time, I came over all thirsty. In touching the void, the injured climber stays alive by sucking moisture from the rocks. It's a... Hmm. I think it's better probably to simply open a can of fizzy drink. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, now that's a tasty beverage. See, I'm doing all the work here. Drive. you might be thinking, why on earth are you doing this? I'm never going to drive my car over a Scottish mountain. Thing is, though, this watch, OK, that goes to a 1,000 feet. And I'm never going to take it down. I'm never going to go to a 1,000 feet. But it's nice to know it's OK when I drop it in the sink. Fearful of getting stuck again, I decided at this point to stop fannying about at one mile an hour and see what the car could really do by pointing its nose at the summit and flooring it. The results were spectacular. That is a lot of revs. Can't stop. Not stopping. Nothing is going to make me stop. What this car does is bring civilization and comfort to bits of the world that would otherwise be difficult and inhospitable. Look at that view. No car has ever been up here before. I don't want any conspiracy theorists saying that that's a 
soundstage in Nevada. So, there we are. Proof. That car made it. Say, you really put your back into that whole off-road thing there, Jeremy. That's what I love about this car. It means you can go mountaineering in a weak and lazy way, which suits yeah. me down to yeah. the ground. Yeah. I have to say, as a family car, I still think the XC90, the disagree. Volvo... I know you disagree, but I still think it's better. As a machine, though, this is yeah. just phenomenal. It really is.